Hello everybody, Shauna L. Francis here. It is October 22nd, 2020. If you're new to my channel, I channel the Galactic Federation of Light, among other highly evolved beings, not of Earth. About two years ago, I had a massive awakening experience. This journey continues today, and this is where it has led me. I'm here channeling the Galactic Federation of Light at their request daily, for the most part. Um, we're about 80, 80 days into this marathon, uh, 85, I think by now. We're almost at 90 days, actually. So it was the 1st of August, and then daily channelings for about 60 days. <clears throat> I think I have that math right. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you so much for all your love about my dad, for my dad, for myself. Thank you for all your emails, the energy you're sending, all the comments. Um, this army of light here is incredible. I'm blown away by all of you. So thank you so much. We're in this together. <laughs> um, again, wasn't sure I'd make a video today, but you know, my guides are encouraging me to do it. And I'm honored, I'm honored and humbled to be serving in this way. Um, I was laying a bit in bed awake this morning, like at 4.30. <clears throat> and I thought it would be kind of cool to ask the Federation if they could tell us more about what it means to be in a crystalline body. So um, if you're new to this through the awakening, through the ascension process to the fifth dimension, the idea here is that our bodies will transform from carbon-based to crystalline. And so like, what does that mean? What does that look like? You know, we can see exactly kind of how our bodies are right now. How will, will our bodies, our physicality change uh, when we are crystalline in nature. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I think that's where, and, and they agreed to answer that. <laughs> so it sounds like kind of a fun, um, a fun question. Um, you know, my dad's doing great. Just real quick on that. We'll, we're going to go on a walk today and go out to dinner uh, with family. So um, he's handling this all with such grace. And I just, I love him so much and I adore him. He's such a, he's such a great um, example for all of us, for me. Uh, so again, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, all right. So with that, I'll go ahead and get quiet and we'll see what the Galactic Federation of Light wants to talk about and if they will talk about what it means to go crystalline in the fifth dimension. Okay, and thank you, Shauna, for your question. Thank you so much for being our servant here, our avatar, as you transmit these messages and these energetic frequencies from us to all of humanity. You are making a difference. All of you are making a difference. It is truly a sight to behold. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> We'd like to answer Shauna's question. For those of you who are unaware, where you are heading as a species is going to require a monumental transformation. This will change humanity on all levels, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, and other multidimensional levels you're unaware of. And we do not take lightly your concerns your questions, you wanting to understand more about what this might mean for you as a human. What might this mean as a species? The light is coming and it will be very clear where you're going, how you're getting there, what it will require of you, what it is you may need to give up fully transition into the fifth dimension. And as Shauna mentioned, crystalline, this is a different type of physicality.
as you think of yourself now as flesh and blood, we think of you as energy. And in the world of energy, everything is moving, everything is changing, everything is flowing, constantly, constant change of, of vibrational frequency, constant fluctuations, expanding, contracting, it never stops. There's an inertia here. The biggest change that we would like to address first is that you will be less dense. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. You see this body now, you feel this body as separate from everything else with its own density, with its own boundaries. There is this idea of flesh that keeps you separate from the air, that keeps you separate from your clothes, that keeps you separate from other people. So you are what seems to be a self-contained unit of fluid, of bone, of nerve endings, all sorts of tissues and organs. But truly there is a massive coordination happening on a physical level, energetically, that keeps all these parts moving, flowing, growing, healing, degenerating, and this is all energy. This is all energy. It's all happening and it never stops. It never stops. It just may change what you might see as form through your physical eyes. So let us get to the crystalline part of this conversation. Your flesh and your blood, your bones, your tissues will be making a pretty significant metamorphosis through this transformation. This is to allow a higher vibrational frequency to be embodied. Your body right now is perfect for the third dimension. It is perfectly tailored to this dimension. And although your cycles of birth and rebirth happen more quickly than what you would hope for, it is true that it seems your lives here are very short and they are. There is a symbiosis happening here. There is a balance between these cycles at this dimension, at this frequency and vibration. So when you are crystalline in form, imagine that there is more space more space and more room for higher vibrating particles. And there's more conductivity between those particles. Sorry guys, it's uh, Shauna here. I keep just seeing like, um, they're kind of showing me an image of like a hand and an arm. I'm kind of just seeing a, a wrist here and a little bit of the forearm. And it's like, um, blue electrical impulses kind of going through this hand. So it's, it's flesh, but it's, um, and it's not technology, but it is, uh, like, um, yeah, like almost like electricity or something. Like I'm, I'm seeing these blue kind of blue electricity and it's, um, it's more dynamic and fluid and moving. Uh, if there's, it's almost like seeing an x-ray, but there's all kinds of movement happening. 
um, but there's still fingers and there's still, you know, movement here in a, in a wrist and, and such. But um, yeah, so sorry, it's, I'm struggling a little bit with, with this visual or how to, um, how they're trying to verbalize this. Okay, team. Thank you, Shauna, yes. This is what we are conveying here. There is a higher energetic frequency through the body, which will require that you are not as dense. So everything that you are made of changes in that way. And your cells, your bones, all the building blocks that make up your physicality will go through a transformation and you will be crystalline in nature. And this is due to the conductivity that needs to happen at a higher dimensional frequency. So there is a lightness here to your beingness and to your, your physical form. There is more um, connectedness to all the energies around you. You are feeling more as one and connected in that way, not quite so separate at this very dense third dimensional reality. <clears throat> this is a very dense reality and you uh, feel this through your physicality. So as a fifth dimensional being in a crystalline form, think of crystals, think about your crystal clear crystals and their ability to um, transmit and allow the conductivity of energy to flow through them. This is the same basic idea here. So we will say that you still have a structure very similar to what you, in terms of your face, your head, your neck, your body, your limbs, your fingers and toes, <clears throat> but truly in crystalline form, it is truly a complete metamorphosis of the physical body. And what you understand yourselves to be as beings of light. Um, and as you go through this together, it's not gonna be quite as jarring. You'll all be taking this journey together. And so it's not that you will be very different than other beings around you. So know that you will be held in the light with love and will be making this transformation with your fellows. So you'll come out on the other side and you'll all be very similar in nature in this crystalline form. just imagine that there is more of a free flow of energy within you, through you, from you, and that connectedness allows you to feel that love, feel the all that is, where you are made from love, of light, and working together for the better of all. So even your thought process will be changed quite a bit the way you see yourself will change, your identities will change. And you will be perfectly suited to the fifth dimensional earth that will be ready to accept you with open arms at that time. Your vibrational frequencies will be in match. It'll be matched. Symbiosis again. We think that this may be plenty for you all to digest at this time and to begin to understand and expand your awareness and your consciousness around this. We do hope that this has been helpful. Thank you, team. I guess I'm, um, I definitely feel like I still have questions about this. Um, and sorry for you guys who are watching, I'm seeing more imagery in my mind too that I'm like, like I was talking about with the hand um, in terms of what this is. Um, just it's more electrical impulses, that kind of uh, idea here um, with the body. Still having, again, a physicality that's similar to this, but with just so much, uh, we're just very much less dense. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so I think, you know, we can continue to have updates from these guys on this topic. Um, as I kind of absorb this and understand it a little bit better, I'll be able to articulate uh, further questions for these guys. I'm definitely no scientist. 
Um, so, uh, you know, they're not going to go too crazy in terms of, you know, explaining these things in really um, scientific ways. But um, I think that was a good start. Thank you, Galactic Federation of Light. Um, team, is there anything else you'd like to say uh, as we wrap this up? Yes, thank you, and we understand that these things are mind-bending. And as you are ready to understand further, we are happy to continue to raise your consciousness around these changes, this transformation, what it means for you and humanity and for Mother Earth and for all planes of existence. So we welcome your questions and your comments. And truly, we hope that you are excited about these changes. Please do not be afraid. This is what you've asked for. Your soul has wanted this on a very deep level. And it is a time for celebration. Time to rejoice and sink into this knowing that this world will be transformed for the better, for the greater good, for all of existence. Finally, the travesties that have been happening here in this plane of existence will be over and we will have restored the natural balance between light and dark here. You've wanted this very badly. You've signed up for this mission. You are doing it. We are so happy to be working alongside you, hand in hand, as you bravely and boldly march forward into the new, into the light, into love. It's an incredible moment. Quite a beauty to behold. And with this message, we leave you for today. Thank you, team. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks again. Um, have a great day. The sun's shining for me here. I'm so happy about that. And I love you all. Mwah.